According to the World Economic Forum study, 80% of global CEOs are worried about finding the new talent in the digital age. This has led to a global talent war with billions of dollars being spent by stealing and poaching talented employees. On the other hand, with emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, helping create the efficiencies in operations and sidelining people to the side of the operations. This phenomenon is called uh, digital factories. This digital factories uh, have a different business and operational models. They scale very quickly with more people on the platform and they do not need more people as they scale. So this has led to a huge displacement of jobs with an estimation of more than 200 million jobs that are estimated to be eliminated in the next five to 10 years. So there is an urgency for companies to rethink their business models and especially their operation models. There are numerous examples like Blockbuster, Nokia, Kodak, once a dominant companies fail to respond to digital factories like Netflix, Apple, Android, Facebook, and other uh, similar digital companies. But one of the things that hasn't changed during all this process is the customer need. The need for customer to watch movies, or listen to music, or capture and share their experiences has not changed. So companies need to focus on the customer need and help customers progress with their products and services. The companies have, all these companies had a failed leadership, a leadership that has a blind eye towards the customer needs and the digital models, and then continuously focusing on doing business with their old business uh, models. I want to take uh, time and do a Peter Drucker's uh, quote, which is very relevant today. The greatest danger in times of turbulence is not the turbulence, it is to act with yesterday's logic. I run a digital company and it's been for the last 15 years we've been running. We are at a crossroads last year and I thought like, how do I grow my company and sustain and be relevant in this digital age? I've done a lot of research, I've read a lot of books, and watched many, many interviews with both successful companies, leaders, and also failed companies, leaders. One of the things I've seen in both the companies, both the type of companies, is a mind share, mindset, right? The fixed mindset is seen in all the companies that have failed. What does a fixed mindset mean? It is you are either at good at something or you are not. Your failure is a limitation of your abilities. So failure is not at all an option for your company. You stick to what you're good at and what you know. You want all the success to yourself. You're not ready to share your success. And you don't like to be challenged. On the other hand, all the successful companies like Google, Amazon, Tesla, and many more digital companies, they have a growth mindset that starts from their leadership. A growth mindset is where failure is an opportunity to learn and grow. These companies are continuously learning and continuously failing. They're always curious. They're always doing new things. They're always inspi inspired by other success, but also they have ability to empower others. At this moment, I want to share a company that had transformed from a fixed mindset to growth mindset and had grown and been much more relevant today. In 2000, Steve Ballmer became the CEO of Microsoft. Microsoft once was a dominant player and really changed the world of how we work and live with personal computing, as now stuck with a fixed mindset leader, a leader that doesn't believe in doing new things. So they completely lost the war on smartphones. 
and at the end they tried to recoup by buying an other fixed mindset company, Nokia. So it, it had a natural death. And they couldn't compete in the global uh, cloud war. And so they lost to Amazon and Google. But still, because of its dominance in the business, in 14 years of its tenure, they could double their uh, profit, triple their revenue. But it was a fixed mindset company. A lot of people are not challenged, and they started leaving to companies like Google and Amazon. And then in 2014, Satya Nadella, the new CEO, uh, has taken the role of CEO for Microsoft. He immediately understood the mindset change. He said he had a growth mindset, and he wanted the growth mindset culture for all of the company. So immediately started from the executive team to all around the company. And they have seen results very, very quickly. They sprung back on the, on the cloud and they be, they're becoming one of the largest cloud provider. But also they started doing new things. They started collaborating with a lot of companies that Steve never did. So within span of five years, they became a trillion dollar company the only fourth trillion dollar company in this country. So now you can see just the mind shift, mindset shift can change the company to grow and also have a great uh, success in being relevant in the company. So companies today have an urgency to start the digital journey, but also to have a growth mindset. The companies, because the growth mindset companies are going to try new things, are going to accept failure, and are going to have new business models, new operating models, but also the most important thing is they're going to reskill their employees continuously, which will stop the global talent war, but also which will stop eliminating jobs because the Employees are always reskilled to the needs of the day for the customers, but also for companies' needs. I have started in our company the growth mindset a few months ago. We already seen a lot of positive results, but I can caution you one thing. It is not at all a very easy journey. There's a lot of uh, uncomfortable moments, uncomfortable conversations, a lot of unknowns, but we are in the right direction for being uh, relevant in the digital age. But also, I didn't see there's any other option for us to be relevant in the, in the future. As a leader, I have taken the journey and the growth mindset to be relevant to the customers and to the company. Are you ready to start your digital journey with a growth mindset? Thank you.